Now we are going to start with the new characteristic of a chemical reaction that is the half life of a chemical reaction. Now what do we mean by, by saying half life period of chemical reaction? See suppose in this beaker I have uh, this thing the reactants right. See so suppose I say when I start the reaction the time is T and the concentration of the that sorry the reactants are R if we talk about the concentration. So I by saying half life of a reaction I mean that the time taken by the reactant or you can say time taken by the concentration of reactant to reduce to half. Suppose as I, as I told you suppose the reactants are the concentration of reactant is this much right and if I want that I want to know that uh, it gets reduced to this right like it becomes half of the previous one. So the time taken by the concentration of the reactant to reduce to half of its initial concentration is called as something half life of a reaction right. I think it is clear. So again I will explain you with an example. Suppose we have a container we have a few reactants in it right. Suppose I say I have 10 moles of reactant in it. Then what is the time actually taken by that reactant to reduce its concentration from 10 moles to 5 moles that means the time taken for the reactant to reduce its concentration to the half of its initial concentration that is something called as half life of a reaction right. So as we are concerned with the half life of reaction so that means we will have an expression for uh, the half life period for a reaction uh, depending upon the order like for zero order we will be having a uh, you can say an expression uh, for the half life uh, and we will be having an expression for the first order as well. So let us see that that what is the expression or how we can calculate the half life period of a chemical reaction for zero order and for first order right. So suppose I have the zero order reaction we have any reaction of zero order and you know that that for zero order the rate is equal to sorry the k is the rate constant is equal to r naught minus r upon t we know that right. And we also know that like if we want to write the differential law expression it is going to be rate of reaction depends upon rate constant reactant raised to power 0 because rate is constant. And for zero order we have already calculated that rate constant can be written as k is equal to r naught minus r upon t this is what we have. So this expression we are talking when the time is t and the concentration of reactant is r right. Now, we just want to see that when we uh, this thing reduce the time to half period that means the time becomes half of its uh, like uh, when we start the reaction and the time is now half we have reached in the mid of reaction you can say. Then what happens this R actually becomes half of the this thing uh, the initial concentration this is what the half life uh, of a reaction means that the concentration of reactant should be reduced to half of its uh, initial concentration. So this is what I have written suppose our initial concentration is R0 right and I said that uh, in when T will be half then the uh, this thing the concentration of the reactant is just going to be half of the initial one. Now I am going to put this value here so what I will get after putting value K is equal to R0 minus R0 upon 2 divided by time and we are looking for this change when the time is reduced to half right. So I have just put T as T half that means the half time which will be taken to reduce the concentration to half of its initial concentration. So this is what I have I will just simplify the equation. So what do we get see it is R0 minus R0 upon 2 we take LCM it becomes 2 R0 minus R0 which comes out to be R0 by 2. So I am just putting this uh, value here. So what do I get? I get R0 upon 2 time half. So as we are looking for the expression for T half, so that means the expression for T half for zero order reaction becomes this. So this is something the expression from which you can calculate the uh, this thing the half life period for a reaction in which the reactant concentration is just going to be half of its initial concentration. Again I think it is clear just look at the board again. We know this differential law equation for zero order right. We also know that we can write in this form also that is k rate constant is equal to r naught minus r divided by 
t now we are looking uh, for the expression when the t will be half and even the concentration is going to be half so this is what i did i reduced the time to half the period and i just reduce the concentration that it becomes the new concentration should becomes half of the r not that is the initial concentration i just put these values in this expression as r as r as r not by 2 after simplifying it we get this t half is equal to r upon 2k so this is the expression by which you can calculate the half life period uh, of a chemical reaction of zero order only for zero order now we look for the expression for the first order as well we know that for first order if we wish to write the uh, differential law expression we write in this form that r is equal to k uh, concentration of reactant you can take reactant as r a any symbol you can use to denote it so uh, suppose the differential law equation we know that it is this that is the rate is directly proportional to the uh, concentration of the reactant right and we write the expression in terms of k as shown k is equal to 2.303 t log r not upon r this is what we have right now we are looking for the expression when the time will be reduced to half and even the concentration is just going to be half of its initial concentration this is what we took here uh, we are going to put the same value in this expression for zero order so it becomes k is equal to 2.303 time as t half log r not as r not and r is now expressed in the terms of r not that is r not by 2 right so i'm just writing in the similar manner so after solving what do i get i get 2.303 t half log of 2 and when i just simplify the result you know what result i get i get k is equal to 0 0.693 divided by t half because we need the expression for t half right so this is t half is something equal to 0 0.693 divided by k so this is the expression which we uh, like will be using for uh, to calculate the half life period of for the chemical reaction for first order right so this is i think it's clear that how you are going to calculate the half life for the zero order and half life for the first order remember in uh, like in your mind that what is the expression which will be directly used in the uh, this thing the numericals it will be for zero order it is going to be t half is equal to r upon 2k and in this it is going to be t half is equal to 0 0.693 divided by k so what conclusion do you get that that on what factors like if we talk about zero order so on what factors this half life half time depends upon so we know that see that just look at the expression by looking at the expression you can just tell that on what factors it depends so t half we can say is directly proportional to the rate of reaction right or we can say it is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant because the rate of reaction is something the change in the concentration of chemical species with time so we can say that if for zero order t half is directly proportional to the concentration of the reactant and we have one more factor you can see that in the denominator we get k so that means t half is inversely proportional to the rate constant so for zero order if somebody is going to ask you that on what factors the half life period depends so you are just going to say by looking at the expression that t half is directly proportional to the rate of the reaction or you can say the concentration of the reactant and it is inversely proportional to the rate constant that means if we increase the value of the concentration t half is going to increase and if we are just going to decrease the value of concentration obviously the t half is going to decrease similarly when we are just going to increase the value of t uh, this thing the rate constant t half is going to reduce or you can say that they will have inverse effect on each other and when we talk about first order that on what factors this t half actually depends so we see that t half because we don't get any kind of r in the expression right so that means t half is independent of concentration of reactant it do not depend right if you increase the uh, concentration or you decrease the temperature t half remains unaffected but it is inversely proportional to the rate constant right so uh, th there is only one factor on which the half life period in for the first order reaction depend and that is that factor is that it is inversely proportional to the rate constant so this is the expression uh, for zero order or first order i think it's clear that is half what is half life half life is nothing it is just that the time which is actually consumed uh, to uh, you can say reduce the concentration of reactant to its uh, half of the its initial concentration so now we are in a position to solve some numericals based on this uh, zero order and first order just look at the board carefully